one of the unique things about this music is that there's a certain solidarity, a certain fraternity among tenor saxophone players, and we're kind of witnessing this tonight with this unique amalgam of creativity. The uh, eldest member of the group, David Liebman, is someone that a lot of us hold in, uh, in a special light because of his contributions and influence on us. I know that you, several years ago, participated in one of Dave's master classes that he gives once a year to young saxophonists. Do you, uh, in a way, is tonight's, uh, are tonight's proceedings a master class of sorts, working with these incredible saxophonists? Well, that's a class for me, <laughs> that's for sure. I mean, I, it's, uh, you know, I learn a lot every time I hear, uh, you know, Dave and Joe, you know. Uh, the thing that makes this a really interesting uh, combination is that we all play really differently. You know, we, we're all saxophone players, obviously, but uh, we're coming from very different places. And that makes for a really interesting juxtaposition, a combination of sounds, colors, uh, rhythmic approaches. And it's fascinating for a listener as well for us, as well as for us. And, um, uh, you know, I've known Dave Liebman for many, many years. I met him when I first moved to New York when I was 19 years old. We had adjacent ap apartments. Really? And I've learned from him over the years. He's been uh, somewhat of a teacher to me, you know, from, you know, was always ahead of me. And, uh, and it's such a thrill to be able to play with him a lot lately. Um, and I'm still learning. He's uh, such, such an amazing thinker, you know, and a, a clear, decisive, uh, organized, incredible mind. Uh, and, and his improvisations are, are outrageous. You know, and it, it, it's good for me. Same thing with Joe Lovano. You know, I, I can't say enough about Joe in terms of every kind of, uh, of music, and he's a, he's a saxophonist, saxophone player. You know, he really plays the instrument uh, beautifully and does it, in, you know, in his own way, which is really hard to do. He's got his own sound, uh, own rhythmic approach, own ideas, and uh, and has the ability to play in so many different, really abstract and beautiful uh, environments. And that, to me, is 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 fascinating. You know, and I love to sit and talk with both Dave and Joe because I learn a lot. You know. In days of old, when saxophonists came together, it was frequently what were called tenor saxophone battles. But uh, tonight's collaboration really isn't a battle. It's truly a summit meeting that each has an individual approach, and you seem to really inspire each other to greater creative heights. Yeah, it's, it is interesting. It's not a battle at all. Uh, we're not, um, it's, it's not about that. We're trying to get together and make music. And that really, we, you know, that's just happened naturally because we're, you know, basically coming from a pretty creative place with this. And it's been extremely different every night. You know, we're, uh, we're just kind of calling tunes and, uh, and try to make it, a, as we say, a relaxed hit. You know, not have it structured and just be able to enjoy each other and not have any kind of, um, you know, not have to worry about music, uh, reading music on stage and learning parts. We just wanted to really get together and improvise and have fun. I think we've succeeded, you know. Well, you've definitely succeeded. We've been here all three nights, and uh, it's really been a joy, and it's also been a pleasure to have you stop by backstage. I know that this takes a lot out of you, and we want to give you a chance to gather yourself for a few moments before the second set. So uh, any, but before, you cl before we close here with Michael, just a quick question. Any thoughts on the millennium? Um, wow. Uh, well, I just wish everybody a, a happy new year, and, uh, and, and the best in the new millennium, although it's really just another day, you know, and, uh, but it is an exciting time to be alive and, uh, and it's an exciting time to do this broadcast and it's uh, great to be in cyberspace. Does it look like we're moving like this right now or are we fluid? <laughs> but um, I'm just very happy to be here and I wish, uh, you know, everyone happy holidays and, uh, and, and all the best. Okay, Mike. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. Michael Brecker, his latest recording, Time is of the Essence. So can we bring the, the three of you together here? We're going to, for historical uh, purposes here. Let's try this. We all squeeze in here? Let's go. We love having you. Thank you for looking at us. And thanks for coming out tonight. We'll see you in the future. Yes. You enjoyed it. We're going to start it. off with Enjoy John Coltrane's set. India next set. Okay? There it is. Thanks, Brent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Brian.